In this lesson, we learn how to differentiate exponential functions. We will learn how to differentiate any exponential where the power is a function, such as e to the 3x or 5e to the x squared minus x. To differentiate f of x equals e to the u, where u is some function, we use f dash x equals u dash times e to the u. Here, u dash means the derivative of u. This rule will allow us to differentiate any exponential function. In words, this rule means that we copy the exponential function. Then we multiply by the derivative of the power of the exponential. For example, differentiate e to the 2x. Here, e to the u is e to the 2x. We copy this exponential function. Now we multiply this by the derivative of the power. So we differentiate 2x to get 2. Our answer is f dash x equals 2e to the 2x. Differentiate e to the 3x. We copy the exponential function of e to the 3x. Now we multiply by the derivative of the power. The derivative of 3x is 3. Here we differentiate e to the x. We copy e to the x. Now we differentiate x to get 1. However, we do not need to write the coefficient of 1. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. Differentiate e to the x squared plus 3x. We copy e to the x squared plus 3x. Now we differentiate x squared plus 3x to get 2x plus 3. Differentiate 5e to the x squared minus x. We copy 5e to the x squared minus x. We can write a gap between the 5 and the exponential. In this gap will go the derivative of x squared minus x. 2x minus 1. Differentiate e to the 1 over x. Since we will need to differentiate 1 over x, we rewrite this as f of x equals e to the x minus 1. 1 over x in index form is x to the minus 1. So now we use our rule. We copy e to the x minus 1. Now we differentiate x to the minus 1. We bring down the minus 1 and subtract 1 from minus 1 to get minus 2. The derivative of x to the minus 1 is minus x to the minus 2. Here we differentiate e to sine x. We copy e to the sine of x. Now we differentiate sine x to get cos x. Our rule for differentiating exponentials always works provided that we know how to differentiate the function that is the exponential's power. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.